Hi everyone, sorry about the, the difficulties that we ran into, um, but we should be good to go and, and ready to start now. Um, so thank you all for joining us. Uh, sorry we had to post this a little bit later and it's not going to be live where you can ask questions. But if you do have questions, make sure you comment and we'll answer them accordingly. Um, but I just want to thank everyone for joining us. Um, we're really excited today. We're joined today by Brendan Goff, City Futures Coordinator. Um, I'm going to let him introduce himself uh, really quick, um, just so you know, know who's joining us today. Hey everyone, um, as Garrett mentioned, I'm Brendan Goff, uh, took over as the City Futures Coordinator uh, on April 1st, um, and very, very excited to take over uh, this program. Um, I have been working um, with them in some capacity since it started in my old position with, uh, with Brighton Center, so I'm very familiar with the program, um, with Erica and Keonce, the staff here, so uh, I'm very, very excited to be a part of it. Awesome. Brendan, thank you so much. So we're just going to jump right into it. Uh, why don't you tell us what is City Futures? Yeah, so uh, City Futures, it is a uh, workforce development program uh, located in City Heights in Covington, um, which is a uh, public housing development. Um, okay. And so we are here to uh, provide those workforce services to the residents of City Heights. Um, and so uh, those workforce services include, um, you know, career exploration for somebody who might be, um, you know, getting into a career for the first time or maybe is looking to change careers. Uh, we can assist with resume building, interview awesome. preparation, um, job retention strategies, um, and a number of other services. Well. So a lot. You do a lot then, essentially. A lot. A lot. Okay, yeah. awesome. Very All right. Up. So, yeah. So if someone's interested in City Futures, what, mm -hmm. what do they need? do to, to become eligible to, or to start working with the program? Yeah, so, um, you know, the, the community is, uh, our office is walking distance within everyone's house. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so they can come over, the address is 2522 Todd Porter. Okay, um, excellent. They can come by the office, we're open, uh, we recently reopened to in-person services, okay. um, and we're open from 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. Awesome. Um, or they can call the office, our phone number is 859-360-6224. Um, still have not memorized that number, but I should. <laughs> um, and to, as far as being eligible, uh, really, you just need to be a resident of City Heights. Okay. Um, the, the workforce uh, services in particular are more so catered towards um, the, that kind of working age range, so that like 18 to, um, to 64. But okay. we will provide, I mean, we can provide services to, to anyone in, in City Heights. Okay, awesome. And so they would just either A, stop by the office, um, mm -hmm. 2522 Todd Court? Yep. Okay, and then, or call the number, and if you want to repeat the number again. Yeah, it's 859-360-6224. Uh, okay. Perfect, thank you. Thank you so much yeah. for sharing that. So thank if you. someone reaches out to you, um, mm -hmm. or they stop by the, uh, the office there, now, now that you're back and you're reopened, um, what, yeah. what can they expect? Like, what, what can you expect if you're working with someone there in City Futures? Um, kind of what are the benefits of the program? Yeah, definitely. So if someone comes by, we're going we're gonna to sit down with them. Um, you know, if we don't know them already, we want to get to know them a little bit. Okay. Um, and then just kind of see what they're, what they're coming in for. Um, and then, you know, see how we can, we can assist with that. So, uh, you know, we, we are a workforce development program, and our, you know, primary focus is um, helping folks uh, – either enter uh, some kind of training program, like a certification or a degree program, mm -hmm. and you know, enter the workforce, pursue a, a career to um, earn a self-sufficient wage. Uh, but a big part of that too is um, either uh, providing assistance or making referrals to agencies that can provide assistance um, to ensure that they are um, either eliminating or tackling any barriers that might uh, get in the way of them being successful either uh, in school or in, um, in their careers. So that could include, um, you know, navigating transportation, whether that's uh, learning the bus routes or saving money for a car. Um, that could be uh, navigating public assistance. It could be, um, you know, recently it's been just kind of digging in and seeing which, uh, which employers are hiring during COVID. Yeah. Um, has been a big part of it. So, and you know, there's, there's so much more I could touch on, but I'll leave it at that. Yeah. So there's a lot. And it seems like really you're working with that group to, to eliminate some of the barriers that they may face or that may be unique to that area there. Um, Absolutely. 
just just helping them through whatever that could be and just kind of being like a partner in that in that job search then definitely okay. sorry sorry about the phone ringing i think that's oh. someone who's interested no that's in fine that's a good thing <laughs> that somebody's calling that's perfect yeah. Yeah. um so I know one really interesting thing that I saw about the program was there seems mm -hmm. to be like a youth component to that as well. Uh, why don't you tell us a little more about that? Like, is it kind of the same services? Does it differ from what an adult would get there? Yeah, I mean, overall it's the same services, but it's a much different approach. Okay. Um, so we, uh, this grant is a four year grant. So really we want to put an emphasis on the individuals that will be entering the workforce for the first time within that four year period. Okay. So that 14 to 17 year old age range is really where we're putting a lot of focus. And um, so when I say the approach is different, you know, we're going to uh, have those conversations and do different um, events and workshops more cater towards that youth. Because someone who's maybe 15 hasn't had a job, um, you know, uh, we're going to want to provide them with different more detailed information than somebody who might be 35, 45, who has had plenty of experience in the workforce and might just need to kind of um, fine tune their skill set. Yeah. Um, so this includes, uh, you know, leadership workshops. We have uh, youth focused uh, job fairs. Um, there is a, a team coalition group that meets um, and really just trying to kind of um, work with the, these young folks to uh, Help them figure out what they might want to do, you know, uh, focus in on their dreams and help them help them achieve those. That's awesome. That's, that's really cool that they, they offer that for both adults and youth. Um, you yeah. know, have that there to to get some guidance and some, you know, some information on kind of like, what do I want to be? Not when I grow up, but what do I want to be when I start working? Um, you know, that exactly. answering yeah. that kind of question. Yeah. All right. So um, one other thing that I had is, is there anything else like just some fun facts about City Futures or like any upcoming events? I know that, you know, COVID-19 has kind of taken a toll on events per se. Um, but why don't yeah. you share some fun things or some things that are done there at City Futures? Definitely. Yeah. Um, I mean, one one fun thing about this program is that um, at least prior to, to uh, you know, the, the restrictions in place due to COVID-19, um, the, the office here, um, which is actually just in one of the apartments, which is oh, pretty great because we're yeah. right in here with everyone else. You know, we've yeah. got a, um, a house on either, either side of us sharing walls yeah. with them. So we're right here with everybody, but the office is really kind of a, um, almost an unofficial community center in a way. Uh, people are very comfortable just kind of coming on in, asking us for services if they need it. Um, you know, uh, using our computers for, uh, you know, building resumes, doing a job search, um, you know, printing off documents if they need it. But people are just very comfortable coming in and, you know, spending time here. Um, we do have some events in the office. Um, the space is a little bit small, so we can't have large events. But, yeah. you know, it, it's really great to just kind of have people coming in and out. A lot of times they just want to stop in and say, hey. Yeah. So that's, yeah. that's one of the... Um, you know, it's really comfortable. We have to have some, because of social distancing, we have to just restrict the amount of people that can come in right now okay, yeah. uh, to keep everybody safe. But, um, you know, when that time comes where we can uh, go back, uh, you know, reach our new normal, yeah. um, we're going to, we're going to do that and, you know, uh, leave our doors open again. Right. Yeah. And um, I think that's, that's awesome. Like you said, it's just kind of like that homey feel, you know, like it's just part yeah. of, just part of the community. I think that's great. So. And as far as events, um, you know, in the moment, events are kind of up in the air right now. Okay. We want to kind of see where things go. Uh, we do have a large community uh, center, uh, recreation hall, that we can use to have like smaller events where, you know, we're limiting it to 10 people right now. Yeah. But there's enough room in there that we can um, have 10 people and have them all six feet apart. Okay. Uh, and, but some of the events that we have, we've done last year that we plan on doing this year if we can, um, we have uh, financial uh, wellness workshops okay, cool. um, and different varieties too. So they can be, you know, um, uh, we have a two cents about finance class that we've done, which is, you know, um, everywhere from like the basics of finance to putting together some more complex spending plans. Um, we have a Brighton Center has a home buyers club that has come in and done uh, presentations as well. Um, we were doing for city future specifically, we were doing monthly meet and greets. Um, where folks could come in, meet the staff, learn about the program. Um, and we really tried to do some outreach to new residents when they move in to encourage them to come in for that. Um, as I kind of touched on before, we have regular job fairs, both uh, 
have job fairs that are open to everyone and youth specific job fairs. Um, when the team coalition was in full swing, it was meeting weekly. Um, and then every year there's a, there's a back to school event held for the youth here in City Heights to um, get information about different um, services around going back to school, get access to um, school supplies. So backpacks, pens, notebooks, uh, pencils, all that kind of thing. Awesome. awesome. Um, but one event that actually is on the schedule to begin next month cool. is um, uh, Gateway is hosting some uh, a leadership course. So it's a series of 90 minute classes um, focused on different aspects of leadership. Oh, um, which have been, been some great classes in the past and where uh, those are starting back up in July. So we're very excited about that. July. Awesome. So that to, to the leadership that we know that's starting, that's going to be reach out to, to you at City Futures there? Is that something they do through Gateway if they're interested in? Yes. So I'm actually in talks with, with Gateway right now and they're going okay. to have, uh, um, Emily is her name, is coming out to, uh, to do these classes and she's done them before. Um, and so we're, uh, you know, we're going to be doing outreach to the residents. And if anybody is interested and wants more information, they're welcome to come by the office or give us a call. Um, and we can give them, um, you know, once we pin down the exact dates and times that they're going to be, then we can uh, inform the, the residents of that. And yeah, that's, that's perfect. Yeah. So if you're interested in leadership classes, City yes. Futures is the way to go. Absolutely. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, Brandon, I don't have any more questions unless there's something that, that you want to share or think, think there's something that we missed. Um, I mean, um, I don't think so. I think we've covered um, everything. Um, yeah. Just, I mean, any, uh, any city Heights residents out there that maybe we're, we're not aware of the program or haven't stopped in yet, please stop by and say hi or anyone who has been a part of the program, um, but has not met me yet. Please come by. You know, I'd love to, to meet you in person. That's great. Awesome. Well, Brendan, thank you so much uh, for joining us today. I'm sorry we kind of ran into some technical difficulties without not being able to hear each other, which probably wouldn't be good for a Facebook <laughs> Live event if nobody could hear us. Um, so thank you so much for taking your time. Again, if you have questions, comment on the post. Um, we'll answer them. If we don't know the answer, we'll reach out to Brendan and Brendan will, will get the answer for us. But Brendan, thank you again so much uh, for taking time to, to join us today. Um, and don't forget on Thursday, join us at 930 for Facebook Live with Haley for another employee spotlight spotlight um, and yep. she'll be talking with crown services so thanks everyone uh, again we apologize brendan thank you so much for taking time to join us today we, we really appreciate it yeah thank you it was great All to right. be here thank you have a great day everybody bye